Welcome to our Premier League lowdown for the 2024-25 season. It feels like just yesterday we were watching Manchester City lift the trophy yet again, but the beauty of this game is its relentless pace. The new season is just around the corner, and we're all eager to see what it has in store. In this video, we'll cover every club's hopes, transfer targets, and preseason fixtures. From the title contenders to the teams battling for survival, we'll analyze their chances, their potential signings, and the crucial friendlies that'll shape their campaigns. So grab a cuppa, settle in, and let's delve into the exciting world of the Premier League. Right then, let's talk about the big boys. Manchester City, fresh off another dominant season, will be the team to beat again. Pep Guardiola, the mastermind himself, will be looking to maintain their stranglehold on the league. But it won't be a walk in the park. Liverpool will be desperate to reclaim their crown. The new Liverpool manager will have his lads fired up and ready to go. They'll be a threat, no doubt about it. And then there's Arsenal, a young side full of energy and attacking flair. They pushed City close last season. Can they go one better this time around? Don't discount Chelsea either. They've got a new manager in and a point to prove after a disappointing campaign last time out. New signings always bring a sense of optimism, and you can bet they'll be in the mix. And what about Manchester United? Eric Ten Hag has steadied the ship, but they're still a work in progress. Champions League qualification will be the aim, but can they challenge? For the title, it'll be fascinating to see how they get on. Now let's talk transfer business. It wouldn't be the Premier League without a bit of wheeling and dealing, would it? The rumor mill has been in overdrive, linking players left, right and center. Word on the street is that Manchester City are keen on bolstering their already formidable squad with a young English starlet. Could we see Jude Bellingham in a City shirt? Only time will tell. Liverpool meanwhile are said to be in the market for a creative midfielder. They've been linked with a few names but keeping their transfer business close to their chest seems to be the order of the day at Anfield. Arsenal are reportedly looking to strengthen their back line. A solid center half to partner White could be on the cards. Chelsea, as always, have been linked with a whole host of players. A new striker seems to be high on their list of priorities. And as for Manchester United, well, they're always in the market for a big-name signing, aren't they? Will they finally land that elusive world-class midfielder? We'll have to wait and see. Preseason tours are well underway, with clubs jetting off to far-flung corners of the globe to fine-tune their tactics and get some valuable minutes under their belts. These matches might not have any points at stake, but don't let that fool you, they're vitally important. For the managers, it's a chance to assess their squad, experiment with new formations, and give young players an opportunity to impress. For the players, it's a chance to shake off the summer cobwebs, build fitness, and gel with their new teammates. We'll be keeping a close eye on the results, of course, but it's the performances that really matter at this stage. Who's looking sharp, who's struggling for form, and who's caught the eye with a moment of magic? These preseason friendlies can often give us a glimpse of what's to come when the real action gets underway. So don't switch off just yet, there's still plenty to learn from these warm-up games. Every Premier League season throws up a few surprises, doesn't it? Young players bursting onto the scene, established stars hitting new heights, and unexpected heroes emerging from the shadows. That's what makes it so unpredictable and so captivating. This year, there are a few young lads I'm particularly excited to see. Keep an eye on Alejandro Garnacho at Manchester United. He's got bags of pace, trickery, and an eye for goal. If he gets a good run in the team, he could set the league alight. Over at Arsenal, Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Martinelli will be looking to build on their impressive performances from last season. They're both fantastic talents with bright futures ahead of them. And then there's Harvey Elliott at Liverpool. He's had a taste of first-team football, and I reckon this could be his breakthrough season. He's a real talent, that lad. Remember those names because I've got a feeling we'll be hearing a lot more from them in the years to come. Well there you have it, the Premier League is back, and it's bigger and better than ever. We've got new signings, new managers, and a whole lot of unknowns. One thing's for sure, it's going to be another dramatic and enthralling season. Who will lift the trophy? Who will secure those coveted Champions League spots? And who will face the heartbreak of relegation? Only time will tell. But one thing's for certain, we're in for a roller coaster ride. The Premier League never disappoints, does it? It's the most exciting league in the world, and I for one can't wait to see how it all unfolds. 
Thanks for watching our Premier League Lowdown. We've covered a lot of ground, but this is just the beginning. The real excitement starts when the first whistle blows. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more football updates. Let us know your predictions for the season in the comments below. Until next time, enjoy the football.